Hey, Bruce Reba here, author of Freedom's Quest on Amazon, Woodpecker on Kindle Bella. Uh, I've been mentioned lately, I have a lot of uh, stories coming up. Another, another book about um, technicians during the space shuttle program. And um, the quick brief background as a, as a ComTech, we had the ability the duty, obligation to travel every inch of the space center, from the deepest tunnels to the tallest towers, to up to Oak Hill and all around, and 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 then took advantage of that to explore a lot. But um, there was a, there was a point in time when one of the colleges was uh, doing a survey on endangered beach mice, and it's a real thing. It's an endangered mouse. I think it's on this the list, the government's list. So they're doing a survey. So they, they gotta they gotta catch them and see how many. You know, they gotta do a population estimate. So the college set up all kinds of traps across the space center, and they put little um, like, uh, aluminum gateways around so to direct mice traffic into these traps. And so we'd see them around, and we'd always go up and look, check them out, and always. Always, 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 the mice traps, mouse traps had snakes in them. So the space center snakes were taking full advantage of the trapped, endangered beach, beach mice. But so uh, anyway, uh, one time, me and my uh, coworker Ricky, we were we stopped to look at, to check out one of the uh, uh, traps because they usually had some pretty cool snakes in them, and. Um, we, we parked the truck. You know, we're out in the remote area of the Space Center. And I walked over to the bushes to make a uh, bathroom break. And Ricky walked over to the mousetrap. And we're still talking. And he's explaining to me what he's looking at. He says, hey, it's black and white. Well, it's like, cool. Because it's got fur. So I'm thinking... What the hell? And um, so he's describing it, and he and he and he walks right up to the cage. And he goes, "Yeah, black and white fur. It's kind of cat looking like." I said, "Rick, that's a civet cat, which is which is kind of a, a local slang. You know, it's not a real civet cat; it's in another continent. But so it's a kind of a slang down here by the locals." He says, it's a civet cat. He goes, a cat? And made him, it made him <laughs> stick his face right up next to it. I said, it's a skunk. <laughs> and he, um, and he, <laughs> he scrambled backwards. It was all good. It was, it was pretty funny watching him uh, move in panic away from that skunk. But um, the, uh, what's kind of interesting is a lot of the skunks in the Space Center, maybe the only skunk on the Space Center, is the little... The little version, the name escapes me, but it's not a normal Midwest big skunk. It's, it's tiny. I think I think the hawks love to eat it. Owls. Uh, and it's uh, extremely pretty, black and white. But um, anyway, I was uh, I still joke. We still joke about his cat story and uh, endangered beast my beach mice. Um. You know, I also wrote, I, I don't have time for this, but I also wrote down that those mice, endangered beach mice, beach mice, chewed um, fiber optic cable in half at the launch pad and delayed a, delayed a rocket. And uh, that's pretty interesting. It was a great story. Anyway, Bruce Reeve out.